Hello and welcome to the show. I am here today taking a look at Airheart. I got sent this game by the devs, so thank you very much for sending it, sending a code to me. It's kind of caught my attention, the art style immediately caught my attention. It is, I think, a very, very pretty game. It's kind of a twin stick style shooter, only you are flying aircraft around the place. The main aim of the game is to, I think, catch a giant sky whale. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm not making that up. Uh, <laughs> so, whoops, that's the wrong place. We'll go to the hangar. These, well, this is the vehicle that I have at the moment. Your plane is made up of three kind of main bits, the chassis, an engine, and the wings. You can then have up to two weapons. At the moment, the wings, although the vehicle I have, does not allow me to get more. This is the, this is the shop. Uh, it does not allow me to get more than... Uh, than one weapon, but as you get further down the line, you get towards these bigger aircraft, you can get two weapons, you can get some uh, rather fancy looking things, and you can mix and match as well. I mean, <laughs> of course that's going to be the best thing, it's rather expensive though to get all of that, in sort of earlier stages you can mix and match parts as much as you want, so you can have kind of half of this and half of this, just to try and, well, make make things work as, as, best, as best as you can. We're going to go, we're going to set off, and we're going to launch out of the areas. So, to make money, there are skyfish. Yeah, it's a weird plane-based fishing game, and I, I don't think anything else does plane-based fishing, if I'm honest. Uh, you, can, you can make money by harpooning or by capturing fish, just sort of fly into them, and you will pick up these sort of basic ones here. Are uh, whoop, not worth very much. You can also make money by shooting these rocks. They will sort of spit out oil canisters. I think that's how mining for oil goes. I can't guarantee you that, but I'm pretty sure if you shoot at some rocks, oil canisters pop out. Uh, there are various other things as well around the place. There, are the, you, know, you can fly through the trees. Sometimes things pop out the trees. Sometimes you get like the golden trees that will give you health pickups. Uh, now, if you kill all of the fish in an area, or you can like, overfish an area, and I think then that means the fish will never come back to that. If you leave some, I believe over time it'll gradually uh, replenish the population. I might be wrong on that, I might be mis uh, misremembering, but uh, yeah. So you've got to be a little bit careful. Oop. Uh, there are, oh, that's a goodie ship, don't shoot at that. There are plenty, well, there are, once you've gone past the first couple of levels, there are plenty of sort of pirate vehicles for you to uh, to shoot down. Oh, that one's got a flamethrower. Gee, I've actually seen a flamethrower one for a while. Uh, yeah, you've got to be careful. Like, flamethrower ones at range are awful. Uh, close up can give you all sorts of grief. Uh, that thing, uh, we've got rid of one of them at least. Uh, that's going to give us a special weapon. Uh, when they've got, like, crates on the roof, they give you special weapons. Where did the flamethrower one go? What is this? Oh, this has got the... Like a shotgun, essentially. I want to kill the flamethrower guy. Where is he? I don't know if he's going to drop cool stuff. Uh, now, aiming, I'm not the best at aim. I'm not great when it comes to twin stick shooters. Uh, can we get some... No, I don't know if we're going to hit that. Uh, got to be a little bit careful. Now, you know, when I'm just sort of busy minding my own business, firing away at him, that's fine. However, you can very easily, unintentionally, start friendly firing your way around the place. And if you... Oh, piss off. What the hell was that? That looked like a big plane. Come back here. Well, there's all sorts of... Oh, I've lost my special gun. There's also all sorts of special pirates around on this level. Uh, if you friendly fire certain vehicles, the police will be called. Or like, the police will sometimes turn up on levels on their own, uh, but if you friendly fire a vehicle, that will uh, definitely bring the police up here, and then the police will be after you, and their vehicles are quite powerful. I mean, I'm at the level now where I've probably just about got enough health that I can take down one of the police vehicles. Uh, certainly the I've already had like the, the the big gate, the beginning, the basic. I tried to say two words in one go there. Well done, me. The <laughs> very basic of of, air, of police kind of aircrafts coming towards us, and I can take that down. There are some much higher level stuff that, uh, that I can't. I don't know what the jellyfish do yet. I'm just killing them uh, around around the place. They seem to multiply out of control really easily. I get the feeling they're probably going to screw stuff up. So. Yeah, when I see them, I tend to kill them. Oh, there's a little uh, crate to give us some goodies, a health kit. There's the golden trees to give you some health kits. This is still all fairly early stuff. This is all fairly basic uh, kind of level, if you like. Oh, oh didn't actually kill that jellyfish. I think we got it there. We'll go up to level three. Now, you can like, whiz, whiz through all of these. I've, you know, I've gone through that level before. I've killed stuff up there before, and it does it does respawn each time you go into it. So if you want, you can just kind of ignore these levels and quickly uh, go through them. This sort of stuff I'm picking up here is used for making of various things. We'll have a look at crafting in a minute. Oh, I killed a fish. I think if you shoot a fish, they might respawn on their own, but I'm not sure. Uh, so now we've got a slightly more advanced pirate ship. Ah, oh, damn it, I was going to try and... So he, at the front of him, he's got armor plating. Now, when it's just one bit of armor plating, it's not too bad. Ah! 
Jesus, flamethrower guys come a long way. I was trying to show, so you can harpoon, connect on to one of the pirate vehicles and pull off the armor. When it's as weak as that one, I tend not to bother. It's not really necessary to uh, go for the full, the full harpooning on it. Jellyfish are reproducing out of control down here. Uh, oh, you're a goodie. I've just shot a goodie vehicle. Uh, I'm not actually quite sure the orange. I think they're like a, a faction or something. A slightly different one to, to normal. Oh, I've shot a police vehicle in the butt. I might be about to get... Is he going to be annoyed? I don't know whether you can sometimes get away with just like a, just, just a slight dink off of one. Uh, however, more than one dink. You tend to get... Whoa! You tend to get a... Uh, Police vehicle chasing you. That's going to be a dead one of them. There's a few pirates around it. I'm currently uh, mostly doing just take out pirate shit. It's sort of more, let's say, more fun. I think you can earn a little bit more money perhaps with just getting the scrap and, and managing to make bits to sell, essentially, if you get it right. I still want to kill that flamethrower vessel. I don't know where it's gone. Oops. Ow. Uh, so there are also trick health kits around the place that. Uh, I, mean, I just bumped into one there. A little bit of a pain in the ass. You'll eventually get used to what... Because they look ever so slightly different. You'll get used to uh, how they look. Oh, someone just left some... Well, might be the plane I was chasing. Shall we go up a level? If I can't find... If I can't find... Oh, there's a lot of turrets around here. If I can't find the... Uh flamethrower vehicle that I want to find, we'll just go up another level. The police bots can deal with it. Right, so we're into yard number four. The... Kind of like main chassis of a plane will determine its health. Oh, there's the flamethrower guy again. Uh, oh, we've tied ourselves onto a rock. Not doing a very good job of getting the flamethrower guy. Right, let's clear out some turrets. So for this level, I have done this bit previous, uh, there is a boss fight. Uh, you've got to take out a giant pirate zeppelin. And if we can, well, once we've removed that, it'll unlock the portal up to the next area. It's kind of four areas per per zone, if you like. This has got a lot more in terms of... Uh, oh, there we go. Lovely. Uh, <laughs> this has got a lot more in terms of, like, fixed place, fixed encampments of... Uh, these pirate buildings. So this one, in fact, there's another sneaky little technique I've learned. Oh, okay. Basically, you hook yourself onto the station. You don't have to then keep moving and firing, and then you can just sort of kill it. Although we've got to be wary of uh, incoming pirate aircraft. Oh, you're one of the ram. I think that's one of the. Oh no, you've just rammed your own. Thank you. That's very helpful. Uh, <laughs> sneaky, sneaky strategies. Sneaky strategies. It works though. You know. Whoops. That's a rock there. Uh, <laughs> we haven't got the greatest. Haven't got the greatest of weeks. I could do with a little bit more health, actually. I'm taking a bit on a battering on this particular particular kind of run through. Thank you for dropping a health kit for me. We're up to 29. Yeah. The basic plane has about 20 health, I think. Might even mean less than that. Uh, this one's got 40, so we're still at 29. It's not too shabby. Oh, I've crashed into a police vehicle. Uh, please don't be angry at me. There's a lot of baddies. Oh, there's a, that's a goody police vehicle. I might have just shot to smithereens. Oh, he's bailing. Probably a white. I might have to bail in a minute. Uh, the way that kind of like health and life is on, I'm going to fire back at... Oh, quickly, quickly. Ah, oh, there's two police vehicles. They're probably all going to be shooting at me. I think they're actually mostly shooting at this platform and then they're going to shoot at me. Run away. No, officer, sir. I did not mean to shoot at you. I did not mean to shoot. It was an accident. It was an accident. I think they will eventually get bored or they'll get distracted by other pirates. Ugh. Nope. Nope. I did nothing bad at all. There we go. He's buggered off. Thank God for that. I'm sorry. It was unintentional. It was, I mean, we were all shooting at different things, and it all got a little bit carried away. Oh, that's, uh, oh no, that is the, that's the pirate with the flamethrower. Uh, ooh, let's try to avoid the flat cannon. Where's he bugging off to? Pirate with, oh, there he's gone. Let's take out the, uh, the flat cannon bit over here, because they're, I mean, it's, it's sort of a little bit bullet hell-ish, this game, when it comes to having to deal with some of the turrets. There's that flamethrower guy still hanging around. They're, they're terrible at range, but he's actually got a lot of health, and he's pretty fast moving. I want to take out all these turrets, because I know what's coming up around the corner. I know where the boss fight is, and uh, I don't want to be fighting the boss with turrets shooting me in the back as well. Because, as I said, the boss is a giant, great big zeppelin. There it is! Hello, giant, great big zeppelin. Ow! I've just crashed into a pirate. Okay, and there is the, the boss for this. I've already taken off some, some health of it. Now, again, if you want to, you can do... Oh, if you can get it right, the harp, sort of harpoon and run technique to pull off his guns. Uh, he's probably not got out the, the most damaging thing. Oh, something's firing rockets at me. Jesus. Uh, we can probably take him down just by circling around. He's not really manoeuvrable enough. But if you want to, uh, if you're good enough with the harpoons as well, it's kind of like a fun little way of, of work, fun little work way of working. The whoop, the fights, you can try and... Ugh, you can shoot out the... If you've got a flamethrower, I have nicked one or borrowed one off a drop ship before. Uh, you can flamethrower... Ouch! That was mean, whatever that was at the front. You can flamethrower away rockets. Hey! We have taken out the big old Zeppelin. Now, I don't know if... Oh, we insta-fly... Ouch! Ouch! Okay, we're at seven health. Let's fly up so we've unlocked, I think... 
maybe if we've unlocked to the next area, we don't have to go through all those previous areas to get up here. So here we go, we've moved up. Uh, up in the world. However, of course, things are going to get tougher and my ship is very poorly. The way life is done on this is actually pretty interesting. So, you see at the top we've got uh, we've got seven life out of out of the 40 that we had at one point. Is anyone going to drop any health kits? Oh, okay, let's, yeah, let's maybe a vacate. At any point, you can just press down on the D-pad and you will essentially go into a landing mode. Now, landing mode uh, is not a, you're not guaranteed to make it back safely. Uh, you, what you have to do is fly downwards towards your base of operations, essentially. Oh, that's a bit close. Now, you won't get insta-killed, I don't think. You'll just lose some health if you hit the stuff along the way. If you hit zero in... well, zero health, you will crash. You hit zero health and you will just plummet towards the ground. And if you miss landing on... So you saw that little sort of mini-game as you dive down. If you miss landing on the platform, that's it. That's game over. You missed landing on the platform, and you were done. So, <laughs> you got to be real careful. You have you have got to be really, really careful with the uh, with with the old health. Now, do we go for an upgraded engine, or do we go for some more maneuverability? Hmm. I am thinking. Let's go maneuverability. Perfect. We will turn our thing into the Dragonfly. As I said, you can mix, mix and match. I'm liking the look of maximum kind of, yeah, maneuverability. Maximum maneuverability sounds like a good idea. Are we going to... Oh, no, so we, we are going to get launched now. It's kind of a very risk versus rewardy thing. Do you try and... So when you're on low health, but you've, you know, travelled up towards the top of the area, uh, do you try and keep pushing onwards, or do you have to bail come back down, but of course, you know, you risk, well, I mean, if, if, if you keep going, you risk dying, and you risk dying full stop, there's so many of these bloody jellyfish, go away jellyfish, no one likes you, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, it's an interesting balance, and just in general, the vehicles are great, well, these planes are very good fun to, to fly, especially when you've got the uh, dragonfly wings, and you can do really tight little turns, I, I'm not even gonna, I don't even care about you, oh, we swallowed up a fish, yeah, this, this sort of aircraft is, is great fun to drive. Of course, I haven't got to the big, heavy, the real big heavy beasts. What are you ghostly jellyfish? Go away. Go away. Where's the, oh, there's the oil, oil, oil rock. Let's go and just get some money out from you. I, will, I would go kill the flamethrower guy again, or try and kill the flamethrower guy if I could find him. Probably need a better engine. Hello. Hello, orange. I like that there is an orange faction. Well, as I said, orange faction. There's, there's an orange group of aircraft around the place. Where is the... I will eventually remember where all of, like, the lift-up points. There we go. It will tell you when you get close enough, but you've got to get close enough. You also have to kill... The lift, lifts won't work if there are pirates nearby. So, yeah, you've got to kill those. Do I have to kill the Zeppelin again? Don't actually know if I do or not. Ugh, hello. You're just a sort of generic enemy fighter fly into the middle. No, we don't have to kill. Right, so once the Zeppelin's gone, it makes it much easier. We've lost a couple of health, but we're at a much better point now. It was worth diving down. We've got better engines. There are also, you know, much rarer fish up here to get some money from. We don't really pay much attention. Ouch! That's a painful place to go. Okay, we'll watch out for that building. Uh, okay, I think they've all got better, significantly better weapons than they used to. These poor skyfish. These poor skyfish just surrounded by pirates. There's a lot of pirates here. I, th I think as the further up we go, the less sort of police and the less help we will get, so we'll have to clear out these areas on our own, but of course, every time we go back, there is more baddies. And yoink! Aha! I have stolen your turret. You can also, if I can aim it well enough, you can yoink enemy planes, and you can then uh, proceed to crash enemy planes into each other, like so, to take them out into the scenery if you want. Uh, it's probably more efficient just to, you know, do the shootings. However, it's kind of quite fun. It's kind of quite fun to mess around with the... <laughs> With the harpoon, I could really do with some health. I think there was a golden tree around here somewhere I spotted. I might have dinged it, though, already and got the health kit. Damn it. I need more golden trees. Oh, good God, that's a big bugger. There's a lot of stuff around here. And again, it's only going to get tougher as well, I suspect, as we go. Where did you... There we are. I'm not quite sure. I think that's just various scrap. Oh, wow, there's a lot of rockets. That was a wibbly, wibbly rocket. How on earth am I supposed to deal with that? Where are you, baddie? Ah! Okay, there's a lot of baddies over here. Shoot at the thing. Actually, harpoon that thing away from it if we can. Whoa, I've harpooned myself to something. Oh, there's another big one. 
I've, I've lost more health than I would like. Let's just fill that thing full of bullets. It better drop some seriously good loot. That's what we're hoping for here. Hey, big explosion. It has dropped some loot. I don't know whether it's seriously good loot, but it has dropped some. <laughs> Like all of these sort of games, as you go through, what was a terrifying enemy will very quickly become just a mundane enemy, and they'll get tougher and tougher as they go along. Uh, this one here is, is, you know, this is like a big scary thing now. It's got about four different oh, missiles, weapons on it. I'm trying to circle around it, keep out of line of fire, dodge some of that stuff. I could probably do with, oh, I actually did. Typical, I actually hooked onto that really well, and we did not make it work. It's struggling. It's a big old, big old barge. No, I'll shoot you in the back. We will, we will shoot you in the back. Perfect. I will take some loot from you. Thank you very much. We're up to, well, we're up to, down to, 10 health. Not much. We've not got much health. Don't know why I'm going after these. They're kind of, whoa, what's rocketing us? Oop. Oh, it's a turret, isn't it? Probably, we do with dealing with that. I've just pinged it. That was a silly, whoa, silly, silly ping off of a, uh, bit of scenery. What have we got going on over there? What are, are they... I'm actually sure there's sort of like weird little uh, stars going on? I think we'll drop a big weapon, but uh, can't afford to take many more hits. I think we're going to have to bail. It's been fun. It has been fun up here, but I think we're going to have to run away and maybe try and get some more hit points, or maybe try and get a better engine or something. Ooh. What the bloody hell have we got here? <laughs> Damn, I, wa I want this as a permanent weapon, please. This thing is amazingly powerful. Excuse me, building, if you would be so kind. Oh, that was the one that shredded us on the way. Oh, it felt like it shredded us. I only got five health from that uh, health kit. That's not much. It's not much at all. Wee. Yes, I like my laser gun. <laughs> laser gun is very, very good. That thing looks pretty fast, whatever that is. Oh, and now we're out of... Now we're out of, out of lasers. Sadly, we could jump up a level. It's not really going to matter in the long run, because we haven't got the health to make the most of going up a level, really, have we? And you could do with some shootings. Oh, I want to kill, because that looks like a better plane than normal. There are sort of various, like, elite fighters around that's, uh, that you can get. I don't know if you get special parts from them, or just get lots of money for taking them. Ouch! You've got a, like, electric... How, that's not fair. Ooh, you see what I mean? They get, like, strange, interesting stuff over them. Not sure what that is, but it was something important. I don't know if the planes respawn. Like, if you can just clear an area out completely. Whoa! Hello. Nope, don't go to that shotgun corner. That shotgun corner is dangerous. And ping. And tie ourselves onto it. Perfect. Uh, yeah, shotgun corner is dangerous. We'd probably get some fish for some money, really, shouldn't we? No, nope, you're gonna... Ah, oh, you sneaky bugger. Right, and then... Whoop! <laughs> it's one way to do it. I mean, it's not the most... It would be much more efficient if I was actually good with the whole, you know, harpooning bit. But there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! All coming with us. What can we crash you into that's not going to involve crashing me into? And whoop! <laughs> like, it's got a seriously powerful engine, this plane. Oh, I've crashed into stuff. It's got a seriously powerful engine. Hey! We've got more health to be able to swing and pull those planes around, barely affecting us in terms of speed. Not sure many aircraft could manage that. Oh, I thought you were a special fish over there. I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe we haven't got you before. I don't know. I guess we will find out. I think we've got money. Oh, okay. Now we're kind of finding the rest of the enemies up this bit. Some more rockets come from somewhere. You know what? I'll just take that. I think maybe we will vacate the area. We will return home. We'll have a quick look at... Uh, I don't know about the crafting stuff. I don't know if as you upgrade your aeroplane it gets better at this bit. It's kind of a little bit loose controls coming back down. So you've got to be a bit you've got to be a bit careful. I don't know if you can actually miss the entire place on the fool. I don't know whether you can can, can completely bugger up, you know, the actual just coming home parts. Either way, we've got back. <laughs> so yeah, we did get an interesting part out of the uh, the special thing. So the way the, the crafting kind of works in this, you get this sort of menu and you put stuff together to make different bits. Now it will, once you've bought something, it will tell you what you need. So for this, we need to use some piping, we need some shotgun shells, and we need some various other bits and pieces. Uh, you can, I think, just sort of pure guesswork your way. So for example, we could guess that maybe something is going to want three scrap and an electrical thing. So you craft. In this case, it costs a little bit of money, but uh, you've got to kind of experiment. It's failed, but on the bottom it will tell you uh, what's worked and what hasn't. So, for example, uh, we might need... So the third thing along there, so scrap metal was the correct thing. Maybe a couple of pipes? Is that going to 
created it is so that's created a rifle barrel now so we've learned a new kind of recipe if you like uh, <laughs> we then use this to by the looks of it if we then go and make hold on if we go oh, craft that again I wonder if we need like put three of them together to make a mega barrel okay nope never mind oh yeah three of them together Maybe a fourth one. Ah, maybe a fourth one will make a Gatling gun. Uh, <laughs> I mean, sure. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. So, craft that again. It's pretty inexpensive to craft. And this is the yeah, this is what we get when we kill the kill the planes. And then we go oh, over here. Four of them. Oh, okay. No, it isn't four of them makes a Gatling gun. Three of them and maybe a bit of scrap metal. Nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, three of them and some gunpowder. Nope. Uh, machinery, perhaps. Oh, I've, I've, um. Oh, this is actually a really expensive thing. Okay, so I've burnt a load of money just messing around. But yeah, you can you can do all of that to to, to craft stuff, to unlock stuff, or to make stuff to to sell if you if you so wish. It's a fun little game. This is one of those that. You know, it looks fairly fairly straightforward, sort of just a twin stick shooter, gradually work your way up through upgrading a ship and, and working your way up through the various levels. I lost a good few hours just playing it. You know, when I set out to kind of learn the game a little bit before doing a video on it, I spent a good hour and a half just messing about. The permadeath thing might annoy some people. I can understand, you know, you've made a lot of progress and then you screw one thing up and then that's, you know, you've got to start all the way over again. I kind of quite like the challenge and it is. It's that risk versus reward and that fear of yeah permanently permanently being out of the game if you push it a little bit too far i i quite like it i recommend it uh give it a give it a look on steam and yeah it's a fantastic fantastically good looking game i like this sort of cartoony sort of borderlands ish style that uh, you get certainly on the aircraft uh, they are they are very very pretty aircraft that though is going to be it for this video thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.